Hey guys, before we start, I just want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. You guys are encouraging me to make these toy photography videos. I just hope that I'd be making more of these at a faster pace. So for this episode, I'll be featuring my McFarlane Devastator slash Doomsday. Let's beat up Superman! I just want to say how McFarlane Toys has really come a long way with their figures and gave collectors like me an opportunity to get DC villains at a very affordable price. This doomsday also gave me the opportunity to resurrect my very broken Mafex BVS Superman. Using my 3D pen and some very tiny screws, I made replacement knee joints and managed to get Superman standing up again. Mm, slightly. As for Doomsday, or officially Devastator, I wanted to transform him into Doomsday, so a few customizations needed to happen. The first thing I did was give him LED eyes. I drilled holes into his eyes and inserted a single LED bulb up his head. I then put a layer of white glue to cover his eyes and painted it red. I also glued red cellophane up his throat to filter the light. I also removed his Devastator symbol and made new bones stick out with a 3D pen. The bat ears also needed to go, so I shaved them off with a grinder. And finally, I wanted to give Doomsday some hair. I used yarn and a YouTube tutorial to give him some lovely locks. For this series, I created a couple of new props and effects. The easiest to do was new lightning pieces. These are a little bit different from what I already have since I made them with their own stands. I also made a couple of impact effects from the 3D pen and some scrap plastic. For this one, I cut out a circular piece of plastic and blasted a heat gun over a bowl to get a curved shape. Which impact effect do you prefer? Another easy but tricky thing to make was a heat vision effect. Tricky because I wanted it to be as thin as possible. The ends needed to be together so I can stick it from that end and have it floating over Superman's eyes. For this shot, I shined a red LED over the beam and had a laser pointer on his eye. Because of the angle, I only needed to light up one eye. For this shot, I used two laser pointers mounted on helping hands. I covered the tips of the pointers to further make the point small and fit the eyes. I also made Batman's kryptonite spear from a barbecue stick, masking tape, some ball pen parts, and a 3D pen created tip. I also used a wood burning tool to further shape the tip. I painted the tip green and shined the green LED on it for the photos. I also reused the blood splatter effect I made for an old King Kong vs. Voltus 5 shot for the Wonder Woman shot here. For this shot, I used an orange EL wire for Wonder Woman's lasso. For a number of shots, I pose my toys first and find a good angle for the scene before setting anything up on the table. 
I do ACBA style toy photography, which means all of my photos are 100% tangible. For flying shots like these, I bend a wire stand so that I can blend the wire with the background and let the lens blur it out. For this Trinity vs. Doomsday shot, I went through a couple of versions of composition. I showed the progress pictures to a toy photography group to see what they thought and mixed it around based on their suggestions. For this version, I reused the optic blast I made for Cyclops and the atomic breath for Godzilla. That's it for this McFarlane Doomsday series. The next couple of episodes will also feature some more McFarlane DC villains. See you then! Check out my Instagram for more toy photos. See you next time!